Tong Hulu. Everybody knows that I love it. And for my most recent Tong Hulu video, I did the classics. A ton of different fruits. And as you know, a lot of them worked out and a lot of them didn't. And our ultimate finding was that if something was too watery, it couldn't really Tong Hulu. For those of you that don't know, Tong Hulu is basically this street food type snack from China, whereby you dip something into sugar and then immediately plunge it into cold water, where the sugar then hardens around whatever you dipped. Then you get this amazing crunchy texture around whatever you're eating. My favorite is with strawberries. But today we're taking a crazy twist. We're gonna see which pastries Tong Hulu. Now, before we start, I wanna run you through all the awesome pastries that I got today, because I went to three different places to get them. The first are some more high-end, really beautiful pastries, which I'm not really sure what's gonna happen when I try to Tong Hulu them, but I'm up for giving it a shot. The second is for more of a mid-tier place with all sorts of beautiful pastries that are more of the classics. And then the last place was just my local market, which had a bunch of cookies, donuts, that sort of thing. We're gonna Tong Hulu it all. I wanna start with what I think is the most beautiful pastry I have here today. It's an apple. It's got almost this geometric shape, as you can see. It has that perfect spray of color all the way around it. Now, this is one of those ones that I'm gonna honestly feel so bad trying to Tong Hulu, but at the same time, it'd be so cool to see what would happen. Anyway, before it melts, I'll put this one down. Now, this would be a good cake to give for Valentine's Day. This has that similar geometric shape with that powder spray type look on it. I'm not really sure what's inside, but this would be really cool to Tong Hulu and then cut through with my super sharp chef's knife. Now, this one's gotta be one of my favorites. I don't think I've ever seen a pastry with that cool of a texture. I'm pretty sure this one's got passion fruit and that sort of thing in it. And I'll toss the link in the description below for where I got these pastries. Cause if any of you are from the New England area like me, you gotta go check this place out. I don't even know where to start with this one. I'm worried that the top glaze might melt off if we try to Tong Hulu it. But again, that's what we're here to do, experiment. Now I hope you all recognize this. And for those of you who know French, I hope I say it right. This is a beautiful croissant. I actually have the urge to crunch this right between my hands to let you hear that amazing texture that's inside this thing. But I'm gonna wait until we Tong Hulu this. Cause this is actually what I'm looking most forward to when we Tong Hulu. We can't do a pastry Tong Hulu without a nice sexy cookie. So this is gonna be our test subject today. Just a few more pastries. Because I'm in Boston, I gotta do a Boston cream donut. This is actually non-traditional because usually they have a chocolate glaze on the top, but I think they've modified it a little bit for Valentine's Day here. So I'm excited to Tong Hulu and then cut this one open to get all that delicious curd inside. Now right here, similar to a croissant, an apple fritter. I'm hoping these will actually be one of the easiest ones to Tong Hulu. I just wanna see how that crunch from the sugar, almost like the sugar that's on top of a creme brulee, will sound alongside the crunch that I'd normally get from this. Listen. Then I got a couple corn muffins, a few other donuts, a nice big French baguette. You always gotta listen for that nice crunch. And a nice big loaf of challah. Again, I hope I'm saying that one right. All right, let's Tong Hulu. The most important part of Tong Hulu is just knowing the ratio to make that sugar mixture. We want equal parts sugar and equal parts water. But we have a lot of pastries today, so I'm gonna make a huge batch of that sugar mixture. We're gonna do about eight pounds of sugar. I feel like Willy Wonka right now. Four pounds, not exactly sure why I just soaked my hand in sugar. And then another four pounds, eight whole pounds of sugar. Damn, that's a lot of sugar. <laughs> then I'm gonna cover this up with some water. Again, if you're using two cups of sugar, you should use about two cups of water. But between us, sometimes you can get away with a little bit less. Now we wanna whisk it up. As you know, I'm a big fan of the mini whisk, but I'm gonna be totally honest with everybody here. This might be one of those times where our mini whisk just can't cut it. Instead, I'll take a large whisk and just gently make sure that the sugar and the water are dispersed. Once this is all set, turn your heat to high and let this go until you start to see a low boil. To be able to dip your Tong Hulu, you wanna make a really cold ice water bath. So I'll start with that. Once your sugar reads an internal temperature of about 300 Fahrenheit, dip your testing stick into the sugar and then straight into your ice water bath. If the end of your stick hardens like this and cracks when you bite it, you're ready to dip. I wanna keep it simple and start with a piece of French baguette. We're gonna do all this dipping really fast because I don't want my sugar to go over or under. Here we go. In, give it a nice swirl in the sugar. Out, let it drip for just a second and then plunge into our ice bath. I'll let that get hardened for just a second around my bread and then I'll pull it out. Check out that glaze on this piece of bread. Isn't that incredible? It's shiny, it's beautiful. Something about that is just amazing. Just to show you how hard this is, I'll tap my knife against the sugar. Next, we're gonna do our cookie and I'm gonna dip it halfway in and then dip it right into our ice bath. Here we go. Halfway in, pull it out, let that go for a second and then ice bath. You can see that cookie is as shiny as can be on the bottom half. So, so cool. Now for our corn muffin. I don't think I'm gonna peel off the bottom part because it gives me a perfect handle. I'm gonna dump it muffin top down, out like usual and then into our ice bath. That looks incredible and look how shiny it is. And again, let's give it a test. 
Now for the thing I've been waiting for, our croissant. Let's dip this bad boy in. I'm gonna give it a nice roll all the way around and really make sure that this thing can swim in that sugar. Then I'll skewer it and drop it in. I'm just gonna roll this thing around to get it as coated as I possibly can and also to make sure that I seal the whole thing in so that the inside doesn't get soggy. Have you ever seen a croissant look that good? Now, a piece of New York cheesecake might seem like a weird thing here, but somehow I think this is gonna be amazing. We'll do a quick dunk and then right into my ice bath. The cheesecake is one of those things that I don't know if it loves being tonghulu'd, but if you go fast enough, you can tonghulu anything. I gotta say, that looks pretty sweet. And we've given it a really nice seal. I'm gonna be honest, this donut might be a little bit tricky, but let's give it a shot anyway. This is gonna be a really fast dunk in and out. You can see that we've perfectly sealed about a half of this donut, which I'm really excited to try. It got a little thicker on the bottom part here, but that's okay. Next, my apple fritter. I'm gonna drop the whole thing in. This is a work of art right here. It has a little bit of a hole from the skewer that went in there, but that's okay. And I'm confident that when we cut through this thing, it's gonna be a great, great sound. Let's just do one or two more. I'll toss in my glazed donut. It's even more glaze now. I feel like we just added that extra coat of sugar that'll give it a crunch in addition to that glaze that usually just gives the sugary sweetness. Now for the one we've all been waiting for, this gorgeous heart. I felt sheepish about doing any of these high-end pastries. These are pieces of art, not just food, but I just wanna try one, especially in honor of Valentine's Day coming up. Again, this is gonna be a fast dunk in and out. In and out. As you can see, I lost a bunch of the red color, but it actually worked really well. So we're gonna cut this thing open together. It smells a lot like raspberry, so I'm super excited to try this one. I think that's plenty of dipping for now. Let's eat. I think given what we actually just tried to do, that tonghulu was a success. Getting sugar to that right consistency for tonghulu means going through several stages that sugar goes through as you continue to heat it up. We went to the hard crack stage, which obviously gives that crackle and crunch when you bite into something that's been tonghulu. Looking at all the pastries below me, even though baguette doesn't really count as a pastry, it's a baked good, so I figured it could toss in the mix, and I think it's my favorite. This thing is so incredibly pretty all the way around, but I'm excited to try all of these, so let's just give them a shot. First, let's give our croissant a little bit of a crunch. That's one of the best sounds you can ever hear in cooking. But now the bite. Holy crap, that's really, that's really good. That's really good. You can still see right inside here, we have that beautiful croissant interior. But with that tonghulu sugar on the outside, the whole thing tastes so sweet and buttery, almost sort of like a crispy, crunchy honey. Let me pull this thing apart. Just look at that tonghulu goodness. You can't beat it. Let's move on to our piece of cheesecake. I'm just gonna get right after it. Wow, wow. Normally, when you have cheesecake, you think of something so soft, yet this just gave us the perfect crunch, still leaving us with everything we all know and love about a cheesecake. We have to try this heart. Again, I don't know what's inside this thing, but I'm gonna give it a try. But first, one more time, appreciate the beauty of this thing. I know some of you perverts might flip it over and try to make jokes about this, but that's not what we're here to do today. We're here to Tonghulu pastries. Let's go. Wow, hmm. What the hell? I think this thing's a pistachio mousse with a raspberry or some sort of berry interior. And with that crunch on the outside, this company should seriously consider doing this with all their pastries because it's insane. Now, the muffin. I bet you've never heard that sound with a muffin. I really shouldn't talk with my hand with my knife like this from now on. But this is awesome. Let me just give this thing a bite. Ah, uh, it didn't make a big crunch. We'll just cut that out. Now for this donut. I know inside here is a really nice cream, but I'm just gonna take that bite off the edge. That is incredibly good. And when you couple that crunch with the cream and goo on the inside, that's a seriously amazing bite. One more to go, Nick. If I don't have diabetes by the end of this. Now I know we've probably all been waiting to crack this apple fritter. And please don't mind the little bum hole that's in the middle. But I'm gonna give this thing a go. I don't even need to bite this. Oh, that was fun. That was satisfying. Same thing with this chocolate glazed donut. Listen. Honestly, it looks a little dry inside. Gordon would not be happy. Now, normally with a baguette, you get crunch. And this one's actually not even crunching. So we've done some work and we fixed that. While I'd love to eat the cookie and the rest of this stuff on this platter, I simply cannot eat more sugar today. My dentist has actually told me to stop eating so much sugar. And this is the kind of thing that keeps sending me back. But in all seriousness, that was really cool. If you're gonna tonghulu a pastry, I'd say tonghulu a baguette or a croissant. I'd probably pick the second one. Just make sure it doesn't have too much of a glazed coating on the outside, because that sugar will immediately melt in with the rest of the sugar in your tonghulu mixture. Now, thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and toss me an idea for the next video in our series, Does It Tonghulu? So far, we've found a way to make just about everything Tonghulu. Catch you on the flippity flip.